Yeah, you can have a moment, a short moment. How's it going? I gotta stretch. Cause 15 seconds of slides, real slow. Oh, <laughs> All right, let's do this. Hit play. Boop. 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 <laughs> 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 I was saying I'm an interaction designer, but tonight I'm not going to talk about interaction design. Instead, I'm going to talk about something very different. I'm not going to get bolder on you, but right now, I'm going to blow all of your minds. All right? I'm feeling sexy. You can call me Lindsay tonight. <laughs> We're stuck. There we go. There it is. All right, now 15 seconds. <laughs> Let's just stand around. <laughs> okay, anyway, so we went through that. Are there any neurologists in the house? Psychologists? I'm safe. Awesome. All right, <laughs> technology. I love it. Let's talk about it. I got an iPhone. Let me see what you got. Show me your technologies. <laughs> see it. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> that has nothing to do with my presentation. I just love seeing technology. <laughs> Feels real good. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. Catfish, let's talk about it. My students, you're not allowed to answer this. How big can they get, lengthwise? Call it numbers. 20 feet. That's too big, you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> eight feet, eight feet. We found it out a year ago. They can be eight feet. I blew your mind, that's a freebie. <laughs> three questions. I'm going to make three statements. And by show of hands, I want to see how many of you think at least one of those things is possible. Two of those or three of those, right? One, within the next 50 years, Medical technology will allow us to live to be at least a thousand. Two, within 200 years, there will be uh, no wars. Three, pigs are going to eat wings. So at least one of those things. Let me see my hands. Wings. Two. Wings. Wings. Three. Wings. Wings. All right. So I'm talking about perception of possibility. And instead of telling you the enabling technologies that are going to make any of this possible, I am instead going to ask you a rational, logical question. Is it that these things are not possible in reality? Or is it that you are limited by your perception of what is possible? Mm -hmm. Oh, so deep. <laughs> the scenario. Here we go. It's, a it's 1910. The Model T just came out. And the Wright brothers flew about eight years ago, right? And I'm going to say to you, within 80 years, you know, there's going to be 17,000 of these tin cans in the air. Everyone's going to be flying around everywhere. What would you say? You'd go, oh, Michael, you know, that's not possible. And you're not being <laughs> irrational for that. You're not. Because human beings are cognitive beings, right? We take in information. We compartmentalize it, right? We break it down, we draw inferences, we put it in a box. And what my question to you is perception of possibility. Is your box a small one or a big one? You're educated by media, television, so much so internet these days, right? Experience. I talk real fast. Keep up with me. And I pace. You just screwed me up. And we're drawn, we're, we have experience, and it's paradigm shifts. There are paradigm shifting experiences, like seeing a man on the moon. The greatest thing NASA ever did for us was educate our kids on what is possible by telling them that anything is possible. And when you see a man on another body, a foreign body other than the Earth, that's kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything's possible. Everything's trivialized, right? So a negative paradigm shift here. Let's talk about negative. Nuclear bomb. You see the nuclear bomb go off for the very first time in all of history. Humans realize that. We, can, we might not have a tomorrow, and what effects does that have? Negative ones. That's when we started seeing, dis we started seeing uh, disposable razors, disposable pens. Before that, engines lasted 200 years. Now all of a sudden they only last 30 years, right? Kids, let's talk about them. I like talking about kids. 12 year olds. <laughs> let's, imagine, let's imagine for one moment, right? You're growing up, and I hand you a viola with a peg at the bottom. They don't make cellos your size. Or I hand you golf clubs, right? Sure, no your ma. That's what they did. Okay, and so if I were to tell you, your, if I were to shape your perception of possibility as anything is possible, and then I reinforced it by saying, you know, by the time that you're seven, you're going to be able to be amateurs. Tiger Woods can be amateurs, right? Of course, of course you're going to become a virtuoso. It's a no-brainer. It's not genetics. It's not synapses in your brain. It is your perception of what is possible, right? Oh, my God. That's a lot of stuff. This is what I'm talking about. These kids, yo-yo moms of the world, the geniuses of the world, they comprehend all of this. We are here <laughs> in this little area, okay? We're in a couple things. I like to think about airplanes. Um, UFOs, though. So do not get us confused with crackpot pseudoscience, because it is not. Pseudoscience, UFOs, ghosts, things like that, that is, that is high levels of perception of possibility, but with very low levels of foundation, right? very uneducated pseudoscience, right? Now, why is this important to everyone? It's important because we are in a room full of thinkers and doers, serial entrepreneurs, all of you people want to be geniuses. I know that all of you want to be Rembrandt geniuses, Beethoven geniuses, genius at its purest form. What you need to realize right now is that Beethoven did not think of himself as a genius. 
his perception of what was possible was him sawing away at that keyboard. That was normal for him. And so think about that. You're God's beautiful snowflakes. And you... <laughs> <laughs> Do not get limited by that. It's mind over matter, not body over matter. When you go home tonight, when you're talking to your people, I don't know, your gang, whatever, <laughs> um, think about this. Think about what I said, and uh, that's about all. I'm going to take a nap, and here's my information. You can text Michael 25505. Blah, 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 blah. I can't count. And uh, you can get my information. Call me. I like lunches and dinners and things. I don't have any friends. And, <laughs> <laughs>